think my lighting is very bad. Is that that Christmas tree in my? Is that oh no. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. I'm sitting on this couch. Maybe I should turn the light on. Let me see if I can turn the light on. It'll make it a little better. That might be a little better. I just wanted to record this quick video. So the TV ain't making it no better. Um, let this past week at work. Let me tell you a little bit. Hey, hey, y'all, how you doing? Let me quit being rude. Um, what up, though? Welcome back. It's good to see you. I hope you're having a blessed day. Um, I was just been in awe over the last couple days, and I'm like, you know what? Let me record this video and share how good God is. So what do I do for work? I am by training a nurse practitioner. So I've been in nursing and healthcare for over 15 years and I'm a nurse practitioner, but I no longer see patients. I work, I'm a clinical educator. And so the company I work for, I train new hires, um, our clinical new hires on things concerning our EHR system, um, you know, and that whole process. And that's what I do. And then developing and implementing new programs and processes and all that kind of stuff. So I work, I'm a clinical educator and I really like what I do. So this last week, one of my coworkers was out sick and we do a lot of this together. And so she does this one session on Thursday and then I follow up with a session on Friday, but she's out sick. So I'm like, okay, I have to do her session. And I didn't want to do it. I've never done her session before, but she's got very detailed speaker notes and her PowerPoint and all that kind of stuff. And it was just kind of like, you know what? I don't want to do this, but I don't have a choice. I have to do it. And I just like, Lord, I need you to show up. I need you to speak through me. I need you to have your way. I need you to remove all fear, doubt, whatever it is. May try to creep in and just have your way. And it's a lot to teach all day. And it's a lot to teach all day, two days in a row. Um, so Thursday, we and this is our largest class yet. This is our largest session of new hires yet. We have, I think it was 17. Um, I think one, uh, now we're down to, so we have 16 now. So this is our largest group yet. And it's not always easy to learn virtually, right? So we do a lot of, uh, we use Teams. So we do a lot with Teams and all of our sessions are virtual, online, so it can be a lot. And sometimes you have people who don't really get it. They kind of hold the class up. You know, they got questions. They're not catching on. And it can just really slow the whole process down. But oh my, these last two days have been absolutely amazing. And I have told them, this group of new hires, I'm like, you all are rocking and rolling. And you have just been made this so easy. Um, and I just know that it was all God in that. But even in that, like... Y'all, truly walking with the Father, um, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, I had to be make sure I'm specific. As you can see, the title of this chat, uh, this the title of this, um, the name of this channel is called Align with Christ, and that's what I am on a mission to do to align my life with Jesus Christ, to live the life that He has created me to live, that the life that He created me to live, right? So that's what my goal is. But I'm just thinking over these last two days, I mean, it was just, it was so amazing. Like this was probably my best training yet. Um, I had my other people, the other people that work in my department were all online and they were all av available to assist me if I needed it, which was great as well. But I mean, everything flowed amazingly. It was just, it went off without a hitch for the most part. We had our breaks right on cue. We wrapped up early. They got it. It was just awesome. And I just am like, Lord, like I feel like right now, like I felt when I got to meet Tap the Brownie. Y'all know I love me some Tap. Like that's how I feel like, God, you are just so good. You are so faithful. And you are concerned about the little things, which are little things to us. To God, it's all the same. It's not one big thing or one little thing. He God is all the same to him. But I think to us, we consider things little things, big things. And to me, that is a little thing. But God says, I'm concerned with what you're concerned about. My children, those who walk with me, those who partner with me, those who choose to live their life according to 
what my word says. So I was just sitting here and I was just thinking about that and I was just processing that. And I'm just like, you know, I've done life my way for so long. I'm, I'll be 45 next month, January 2023. I'll be 45. I've done life my way for so long. And if you would have asked me, I would have told you I was a Christian. I went to church. I went to Bible study. I did all that. But I was still doing life my way. Um, It's my son, y'all. I was still doing life my way and I think it was really 2020 going into 2021. I was just really in a place of, I guess I was in a place of transition. I didn't realize what it was, but I knew I was tired of not, I was, I was really trying to figure out and this is exactly what it was. And I may have shared this in other videos. I don't remember, but I'm sharing it again. I remember thinking that the word of God says to love your neighbor as thyself. I'm like, okay, Lord, you're telling me to love my neighbor as myself. And evidently, I'm not loving myself too well. My phone didn't drop down. I'm not loving myself too well, right? I'm in relationships and situationships and things that are not benefiting me. I'm staying in things too long and longer than I should. Like, if somebody asked me, did I love myself? I would definitely say, yes, I love myself. But the actions, my actions weren't of someone who loved themselves. So I'm like, I need to learn how to love myself well, especially if I'm supposed to love my neighbor as myself. I ain't doing too good loving myself over here. Like I ain't doing, this just ain't doing, I'm not, mm -mm. So I was like, Lord, I need more of you. And the only thing, other thing I know what to do is to just truly just get into my word and spend time with you and praying and just, just really reading my word. And I dived in and I started reading my scriptures every day every day. I don't think it's a day that goes by that I don't read a scripture some way, shape or form. Even if it's in my devotional for the day, some way, shape or form, I, I, I incorporate that into my life. It just is what it is at this point. But at that point, I was intentional. I didn't read my scriptures every day. I read them in Bible study on Wednesday or maybe church on Sunday and that kind of thing. But I wasn't in my word. I wasn't living for God. I was living for Toya. I was a Christian, right? A Christ follower. I believed in Jesus Christ. I believed him to be my Lord and Savior. But I wasn't living my life for him. And I never have. Never really have. Out of all these years. And I grew up in private school. We were raised such and knowing that, you know, about God and Jesus Christ and all that. All my life. But I had never really lived my life for Christ. And so that year in 2021, I really was able to dive deep into my word. Because I started working from home. And working from home, initially I had a lot of downtime for like the first, really, from January to probably the end of, to probably July, I had a lot of downtime. Like I was, I was working and helping and doing things, but I didn't really start this. And I was seeing patients. I just hadn't started seeing patients yet, but my company is a national company and they were opening in different states. And so what I ended up doing was getting a uh, license in other states and I was seeing patients in other states until they had got their new hires, the new people for that state in that market up and running, I was seeing patients. Well, I didn't start doing that till June or July. So I had a lot of time to myself at home to read my word, to spend time with God. And that's what I started doing. And it's just been absolutely amazing. And he's just continued to to grow me and to, to, um, to make me better. He's continued to show up in my life, even in the little things, even in the little things. And he reminds me consistently or constantly that don't take for granted how far you've come. Sure, you may not be where you desire to be, but don't take for granted how far you've come. Yeah. So these last two days, Thursday and Friday, were absolutely amazing. They went off without a hit. Did I say without a hitch? Without a hiccup? They went off without a hitch? Something. Whatever. They were great days. Work. It was just, it was, they were just really good. And so, I got next week, I got one more class on Monday. I'm hoping that the lady is back to work sometime next week, at least by Tuesday, because I don't want to teach any more of her classes. Even though I probably wouldn't have, because I'm not her backup, except for, I think, session seven, which will be Thursday. But by then, she should hopefully be feeling better and be back to work. Um, and then I'm on vacation after next week. So, y'all, I just, I am here 
I am here to tell you to truly walk with God, to truly serve Jesus Christ with your whole heart, with your whole heart. And, and how do you start that, Toya? How do I start that? It says in Romans, hmm, I always mix this up. It's either Romans 10 and 9 or 9 and 10. If I can't, I don't have my Bible here with me. But actually, I do have a Bible here. Let's look real quick because I don't want to misquote. And I want to give this to somebody who needs it. It says, if you confess with your heart, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Let's go to it real quick. I got this Bible when my sisters and I have went to Elevation Church pop-up service here in Detroit. And they gave out Bibles. It's a cute little orange Bible. And I just keep it here in the living room. I don't use this for much. I use my old faithful Bible. Is it 10 and 9? Oh, it's little writing. Yes. So it's Romans 10 verse 9. It says, if you, I'm going to make sure y'all can see me. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, so declare it out of your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it, for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are, sa and are saved. That's what it says. That's the first step in the process. And then from there, just have conversations with God. Every day, find time in your day, make time in your day to talk to God. Because that's all prayer is, right? That's all prayer is, is taking time to have conversation with your father. And I think of it as me. I wanted an intimate relationship with God. And I think of it as if I had a husband or significant other, somebody not in a relationship with, if they went all day without talking to me, I'd be upset. Like, you just go all day without talking to me? You ain't thought about me? You ain't called me? You ain't text me nothing? Like, all day? All day? Like, <laughs> You don't think about me except Wednesday and Sunday? Like, that ain't cool. And so I think of it the same way. Like, God is like, how are you in a relationship with me? You don't even talk to me. We don't have conversations. You don't hear what I say. Or if you do pray, you pray and say what you say. And then you done. And you ain't even got to listen to hear what I had to say about it. So I still have to work on that for myself as well. And making sure that I allow, allow time for God to speak. And I'm not just barking orders or... Um, any of that thing. So I just really wanted to share how God had just blew my mind and that, and just even in work, even in work, he just, he shows up and he makes it easy. Like I still had to do what I had to do, but he made it easy for me. So I'm learning and I'm trying to make a conscious habit to invite Holy Spirit into my day at the beginning of my day. I invite him into my workouts when I go to the gym. Some days I don't feel like I don't feel like thinking about it, what I'm going to do. I don't feel like anything. I'm like, Lord, you show me what to do today. What, what are we going to work on? What are we going to do? And when I do that and get that mindset, it's just a whole different, it's just a whole different session. Work was a whole different session. The gym be a whole different session. I was out today running some errands, doing some self-care things. And it was a restaurant that I had been meaning to go to. Um, it's a vegan Coney Island here in Detroit. And I know they're closing after so many. I think they opened in maybe 2015, 2015 or something like that. And they're closing. And they and I'm seeing it on their Instagram page probably last month that they were closing. And I have been wanting to go one more time. I'm like, dang, I need to really go. I want to go one more time. I kept forgetting. And so today I was out and I was thinking like, okay, I'm going to go over here to the Saver. That's another vegetarian vegan restaurant. It's like I'm going to go over here and get me the, um, they have this ginger elixir. It's like, I'm going to go in there and get that. It's a hot drink. It's really good. Um, and I was like, but I don't really want to eat there. And then the Lord brought me the chili mustard onions. That's the name of the CMO, chili mustard onions. And I said, oh, did they close yet? So I said, let me call. And I called. That lady answered. She said, no, we haven't closed yet, but probably, you know, maybe sometime next week. And I'm like, okay, cool. Um, so you're open. She was like, yeah. I was like, so are you just like for walk in? She said, you, we do. Um, you can call your order in for carry out. They prefer or if you can walk in, you know, they have sit sit down. But it's Saturdays. We typically sell out quickly on Saturday. So I would advise you to come early. So my appointment I was headed to was 1130. And after I left there, I went down there and I, I sat down and I ate and I had this um that they're they're spinning on the Big Mac, not Big Mac. I had the Big Mac all the time. They're spinning on the Whopper. It's called the CMO King. That's some waffle fries. 
Oh, Jesus. It was so good. It was so good. It was so amazing. So good. And I ate half and I got the other half. I'm about to eat the other half now. But just even in that and having my time and spending my day with the Lord, it's just, it's just amazing. It's amazing. And I'm not saying this walk is easy at all because a lot, you know, it's about denying your flesh and, and, and allowing God to teach you and train you and, and take you uh, through the different uh, courses as we can look at it that way through different courses in this process he's growing us up but y'all we are definitely living in the last days and we don't have time to be playing we don't have time to play church it's time out for playing church i've been in church all my life for the most part and right now i i could say my relationship with god has been more it's more intimate than it has ever been and that took place outside of church so for me i believe church is the icing on top of the cupcake top of the cake but that cake that foundation all that should be what you do outside of church who you are outside of church your relationship with god outside of church and when you go to church that's the time for you to fellowship and commune with others other believers to encourage each other to come together to worship god to love on each other that's what church should be. You shouldn't be because you go to church and that's how you get your word. And then for the rest of the week, you don't talk to God. You don't hear nothing. You just, I'm good. I'm on church on Sunday. But then here I am dropping it hot and bending it over and busting it wide open and doing all that through the rest of the week. Listen, me, I was her. She was me. I know. I know what I'm talking about. And I know some of y'all out there know what I'm talking about too. So I just really encourage you to spend time with God. Truly try him. Truly, truly try him, y'all. He died on the cross for our sins. No one loves us like the Father. No one loves us like God, Jesus, Lord. He is so good. He is so amazing. He is so faithful. He is faithful to us even when we aren't faithful to him. He's patient. He, he said in his word, he desires no one to perish, but he's patient because he's waiting on us to get it right. Y'all, he waiting on us to get it right. It's time out. These are, there are people out here waiting on you. There are lives and souls attached to you. You need to get it together so that they can be saved and they can hear a word. You may be the only, how is it said? You may be the only Bible they read or the only, it's the God in you who draws them near. Time out for playing church. Time out for lukewarm Christianity. It's time for us to get it together. And I tell this to myself. I ain't no better than nobody else. And the Lord has continued to show me that when I feel like I get a little too here he like <laughs> don't forget who you was don't forget where you was you were you being like my friend said where you was the last 40 years of your life um so this video took a whole nother turn from what i initially intended but i just want to let you know that god loves you jesus loves you so so much he's concerned with the big things and the little things and don't think that he's forgotten about you he's not if you're faithful to him if you're faithful to his word, he says, ask anything in my father in my name and you can ask, have it. Ask anything in my father in my name and you can have it. No good thing will I withhold from you. He said he will give you the desires of your heart. But those are the for, for the people who seek him, who are in relationship with him, who, who follow his word. That's who that is for. So we all out here thinking we, we, we you know, speak out our mouth, all these things, but we know in our hearts that we are far from God. He said their mouths say they love me, but their hearts are far from me. So I'm going to finish up my evening. I started decorating my little tree over there, my little Charlie Brown tree child. Um, I got to get some bulbs for it. Cause I had like a, a, um, what color was that I had last year? A, um, not a turquoise, but maybe like a turquoise color or something like that. And I think I want to do like a red or a cream, a red and cream or something. So I need to get some stuff finished putting that up. Because I just put my tree up. And what is it? The, what's today? The 17th? December 17th. But, so I'm doing a little something. Not a whole lot. Just chilling. Just letting, just enjoying life. My life is so good. My life is so blessed. And I am so grateful to God for everything. For the good, the bad, and the ugly. He said all things work together for those, um, for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. You're walking in purpose. You're walking with him. Everything in life happens. The good, the bad, the things before him, before you begin to walk with him and the things after it happens. It rains on the just as well as the unjust. But I'd rather go through life, going in the valley, through the valley with Jesus by my side than out here in this world partnering with the devil, doing it that way. 
I will talk to y'all on the next video. Know that I love you. Merry Christmas.